Yep, rats and demons. If you've watched part one, where I rationalize the denominator, I talk about rats and demons. Um, here's some rats and demons going on right here. We're going to rat the demon. We're going to rationalize the denominator. This one's going to be different, though. I'm going to take 3 over 2 root 5 plus 1. So the difference with what you see here and what we were doing in part 1 is I've got two terms in the denominator. So let's backtrack for just a minute here. Do you remember when we did a, a plus b times a minus b and that became the difference of squares? We're going to use that idea right here. So I'm going to multiply top and bottom here by what's called a conjugate. And a conjugate, these guys are actually conjugates of each other. What a conjugate is, is it's basically, if you have a plus b, like I do here, its conjugate is going to be a minus b. So just change the middle sign. That's all you do. If this was 2 root 5 minus 1, its conjugate would have been 2 root 5 uh, plus 1. Okay, you just change the middle sign. That's all you're doing. And that will give me my conjugate. Because look what's happening over here. I've got a squared minus b squared. So if either a or b or both are radicals, when you, once you square them, you're going to lose the radical, right? Uh, the, the, when I say radical, I mean square root, right? If we talk about a cube root here, uh, I'm not even going to go there, okay? We're talking square roots here. All right, so my numerator is now 3 times a quantity of 2 root 5 minus 1. And my denominator, now remember, multiply the outside of the radicals together and the inside of the radicals together, but don't try to mix and mingle. So 2 times 2 is 4. Square root of 5 times the square root of 5 is the square root of 25. Now you could do the outers and inners, but remember what happened with the difference of squares? We don't, they just subtract out, so you don't have to worry about that. So really, I just multiply the first and first here, and then the last and the last here. So 1 times a negative 1 is a negative 1. Notice I'm not going to distribute this 3 through just yet. It might reduce with something in the denominator. It might not, but I don't want to create extra work for myself. So let me just rewrite the numerator. And then the denominator, that's 4 times 5. And that's the 1 there. So 3 times the quantity of 2 root 5 minus 1 all over 20 minus 1, that's 19. And so I'm not going to be able to reduce the 3 with the 19. If that was like, say, an 18, I could have reduced that, right? So that guy's done. If you want to distribute the 3 through now and get 6 root 5 minus 3 over 19, that's fine. They're equivalent statements. And you should be okay with either answer. Um, how long is this video getting to be? You know what? Let me erase this and try another one, okay? Here's a tougher one. Suppose we had... Two roots, well, that'll make it too hard. Let's go two plus the square root of three over two minus the square root of three. And we need to multiply that out, or rationalize that denominator. All right, well, what's the conjugate going to be? If you said two plus root three, you're spot on. Two plus the square root of three is what's going to get multiplied to numerator and denominator, right? So you're looking at the denominator, and you just change that middle sign is all you do. I can't tell you how many people I've seen mess this up on an exam. I have no idea how they're messing it up, but it's not a hard concept, okay? You just change the middle sign with what you see in the denominator, and then it'll work out. Numerator. First out is inner last. So 2 times 2 is 4. 2 times the square root of 3 is 2 times the square root of 3. Inners, square root of 3 times 2 is 2 root 3. The last would be the square root of 9, right? Square root of 3 times the square root of 3. And in the denominator, 2 times 2 is 4. Negative times a positive is negative. Square root of 3 times the square root of 3 is the square root of 9. So now, we're looking at 4 plus 
let me combine these guys, the two root threes plus the two root three there. By the way, if you know the perfect square trinomial formula, this numerator will have moved a lot faster. You'll get there in a bigger hurry, but if you don't know it, that's not a big deal. Um, plus the square root of nine is three. Downstairs in the denominator, I've got four minus the square root of nine is three. So let's combine like terms. Four plus three is seven, plus four root three over four minus three, which is one. So really, it's just my numerator. Seven plus four root three. Okay, and that's how you rationalize a denominator. If you have two terms in the denominator, you do it using the conjugate. That's all there is to it.